over there by Halleck. And picked up there by Sharp. He'll get it to Demers. Demers now pass to Hodge. Hodge quickly across. Here's a breakaway. Sullivan locks it. Just, he scores! Ryan Sullivan, 39 seconds into this hockey game. And the Kodiaks have a 1-0 lead. And that line strikes again as Sullivan comes off the bench and takes advantage of that. And a beautiful passing play. Ryan Sullivan has the goal. And the Kodiaks have an early 1-0 lead here in game two. We'll get this straight yet. Ooh, that's onside. Goodness. Oh, what a save by Halleck. And they score. Looks like Ryland Brown will get the goal. That was odd. The first puck got through. I don't think it was, uh, I think it was meant to be, a, I don't know if it was a pass or a shot from Huck and it got through and Halleck made the stop. And then he made another stop and then it comes out to Brown. And the Oilers capitalize on the power play and tie it up and they're still on the power play here comes Ethan Rowland now puck knocked away Alvarez after could have a break here's Alvarez he's got a short end of breakaway Alvarez walks in he shoots he scores Noah Alvarez short-handed breakaway goal and the Kodiaks go up two to one. Oh my god Goodness. Oh, have we got some fireworks in Okadokes tonight. My! So, the Oilers tied on the power play, and Alvarez comes right back short handed and gives the Kodiaks the lead back 2 to 1. To Brisson, down the left wing side. Here's Carson Brisson. Flips it for Dean. A shot. Oh, what a save by Parker Saka! as he robs Owen Dean off the pass from Brisson. Cross to Brisson, Brisson now to Bryson, in front, and it's knocked away. He gets it back again. Condor walks in, across, Alvarez, SCORES! Power play goal, Noah Alvarez. His second of the game. And the Kodiaks have a two goal lead as they lead this one three to one. Bryson got the return off his shot and then it went to Condor and across to Alvarez. And the Kodiaks lead this one three to one with 6.08 to go here in this opening period. Overtime 4-4. Four, four. Oh boy, ouch. Sharp goes awkwardly into the boards. He was cross-checked from behind by Yoder, and that wasn't called. He'll get it across for Ethan Rowland. Rowland in front for Spack. Tipped it. Save. Rebound. It stayed out, and it's underneath Halleck. They bang away at it. And now we get a whistle. Oh, Kodiak's got a bit fortunate there as that puck bounced around, but it stayed out. And then Halleck just went down, and the puck was underneath him, and it stays 3-1. Pizza and the out-of-town scoreboard for Classic Decking. Here's Ryland Brown off the face-off, centering pass, gets back to Wolfenberg at the point, a shot, scores! I believe that went straight through for Nick Wolfenberg. And the Oilers have got this within one. Screen shot, not a hope. For Freddie Halleck of seeing that shot from the point. Kodiak's unable to clear it out of the zone. And the Oilers take advantage. And they get this to 3-2 to two on Wolfenberg's first of the series. Fires it. Oh, it deflects. Halleck made the stop. Oh, that went off a of Kodiak in front of the net. I think Dean and Halleck had to be careful and uh, managed to close the five hole at the exact right second. Now Brown walks in. And 
controlled by Hunter Saka, and he scores. Right off the faceoff. And we are tied. Hunter Saka, his first goal of the playoffs. Hellyer wins the faceoff. Nobody could find it. Saka grabbed it. Beat Halleck, blocker side, and a minute 33 into this third period, the Oilers have tied this hockey game. And the Kodiaks have seen their two goal lead evaporate here. And now the Oilers look to get it out. Alvarez keeps it in to Sullivan. Back to Alvarez. Alvarez is a backhand and a save by Saka. That might went off the post. Back for Brenner. It eventually gets there. A shot. Bounces. They score! Oh, they wave it off. Oh, they say no, Alvarez's stick was too high. And they'll wave off the goal. Now, immediately from the referee. And did not hesitate at all. And let's take a look at it here on the replay screen. And, uh... There is no goal on the play. Well, I looked at it on the replay. Couldn't really get a good look at it, but the referee was pretty adamant. That did not count. It's Brenner at center. He'll slide it up ahead. Alvarez chases after the puck. Alvarez has got it in front of the net. There's a shot. Where is it? In front. They bang away. Alvarez tries to come out. He whacks at it. Save. Rebound. Still underneath and live. And somehow that puck stays out. Behind the net. There's Spack now, centered it, Yoder, shot, scores! And the honors have come back with three unanswered goals here, and now lead this one by a score of four to three. Ty Yoder will get the goal on the setup from behind the net. Spack again involved, I believe. And the Kodiaks, for the first time tonight, find themselves behind in this hockey game. They now trail 4-3. to three. Comes to Huck. Power play about to expire. Sam Huck gets around a one Kodiak. Scores! Huck with the goal, his second of the postseason, and that is shorthanded. And that makes it 5-3 Oilers. With 1.37 to go in regulation. And that might be too much to overcome. Four unanswered goals for the Oilers here, three in this third period. And they now have a two-goal lead. Two seconds. That'll do it. IPEC Home Post Game Show coming up next from the Home Time Realty Broadcast Center. This is Wild Rose Co-op Kodiak's Hockey on New Country 98.1 FM.